My name is Bob Malhoy from Wakefield Main Streets, and I want to talk to you tonight about a, our Wakefield Small Business Relief Fund group. So many have asked what Wakefield is all about. During this un unprecedented time, we have learned many things about the community. We are warm, giving, proud. Those are a few of the adjectives that come to mind when we think of Wakefield today. But most of all, we are a true community. We proved it once again with the generous responses of over 90 private citizens and stakeholders that stepped up and helped us support over 30 of our, of our small businesses in town. The Friends of Wakefield Small Businesses is a collective of four of the most active nonprofit organizations in Wakefield. The Rotary Club, Wakefield Main Streets, Wakefield Independence Day Committee, and the Event Planning Committee. Normally, we all have different missions and objectives, all, of course, based on making Wakefield a better place to live. But 2020 has proven to be anything but normal. It was time for all of us to join hands and help our small businesses and ultimately our community with the support they need. And our true community responded. We set what we thought was an aggressive but attainable goal of raising $25,000. And Wakefield, you crushed it. During the month of May, we were able to collect over $70,000 to support qualifying businesses to obtain a grant. This grant has been used to offset their losses over the past 12 weeks. It is utterly amazing what we have done here. We received donations in the amount of $25,000, $15,000, and $10,000. Wakefield delivers again. The Friends of Wakefield Small Businesses would graciously like to thank all of our donors who helped make the campaign a huge success. Every single donation helped. We are proud to be part of this gracious and giving community. So I've introduced myself as Bob Malhoy from Wakefield Main Streets, um, but also we have other members of the group that I'd like to introduce to you right now. Um, first, Tom Stapleton from the Wakefield Rotary Club. Tom? Hi, how are you? How's Bob said, I'm Tom Stapleton, and I represent the Rotary Club of Wakefield. But before I talk a little bit about the Rotary Club, I'd like to say I have never met three people like these, these people that you're about to hear about. And uh, the idea of this started as from an individual, and it spread. And the thing I kind of, I just can't believe is that all this work got done within a month and a half to two months, and just the four of us doing it. And it, it's just truly amazing. It was so much fun, and to see the response was, was truly amazing. Uh, that's my first thought. My second thought is uh, I do represent Rotary, and my president, Anthony Guardia, uh, he was approached by, I believe it was Paul, and um, about this, uh, this uh, particular item that uh, he wanted to start. So uh, Anthony decided that it would, he would uh, have me take over this project uh, representing Rotary, and I said I'd love to. And as, as I said earlier, it's turned into a great time. Now, Rotary represents a lot of people in Wakefield. Uh, Rotary, if you people don't know, it, it generally uh, uh, takes care of a lot of the people in, in Wakefield with help for financially and other ways. And uh, Rotary's been around for 45 years here in Wakefield, and some great people have come and gone. But uh, they came through really big themselves. Everybody donated, and it was just one of those things that you, you know that when Rotary gets involved, things happen. So I would like to say thank you to Rotary and to all the other people in town. And uh, it's, it's, it was a wonderful project, and we're so pleased that it turned out the way it is. Thank you, Tom. Uh, I also have with me today Brian Fox from the, uh, excuse me, from the Wakefield Independence Day Committee. Uh, Brian, if you'd like to add a few words. Sure, my name is Brian Fox. I'm the chairman of the Wakefield Independence Day Committee. Our job is to put on the 4th of July parade every year. Um, this year was scheduled to be our 75th parade, and unfortunately got canceled with the events going on. Um, surrounding the pandemic. Um, but the, the main reason that my committee is involved in this is every year we raise $80,000 to put the parade on, and more than half of that comes from small businesses in this town, many of whom uh, I know the owners, I know the, the places they work, I shop at their stores, I eat at their restaurants, and right now they're all hurting. 
So people who have given to us over the years to put on a parade um, are now looking for help from the community. So this is a chance for us to step up and support them in their time of need. Thank you, Brian. Also uh, with us tonight is uh, the man uh, who actually started this all by reaching all, all out to all of us, excuse me, is Mr. Paul Dinocco from the Events Planning Committee and the Wakefield Partnership. Thank you, Mr. Valhoy. Um, good evening, everyone. I will, first of all, my name is Paul Dinocco. I am the president of the Wakefield Event Planning Committee doing business as the Wakefield Community Partnership. We are an organization that's been around for several years now. Our mission is to increase economic mobility uh, while promoting uh, community spirit within the town. Um, this was a, a, an idea that came off the cuff. And again, I'll echo from what Mr. Fox said. It, there's many times when the businesses have been approached to support all of our organizations. This was an opportunity now for us to do something for them. So um, it was an honor to work with this collective of uh, nonprofits. I think we did an outstanding job. I jump at the, the chance to have another opportunity to work with them in the future because we all have the same feeling towards our businesses. So thank you very much to everyone who gave to our fund, uh, to our, all of our donors. You're unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you, Paul, and Brian, and Tom as well. So as I said at the beginning, my name is Bob Melhoy from Wakefield Main Streets. So Wakefield Main Streets um, actually was started by Paul and I about four or five years ago. 2014. 2014. Um, and the way that came about was basically we were looking for a way to support our small businesses outside what the, some of the other groups in town do. Uh, we've come a long way in five or six years. We're certainly not perfect, but what we try to do is, is drive people downtown. That's the main job of Wakefield Main Streets. Um, and we really felt when we were approached about this project, um, even though all of our missions are a little bit different, um, our main goal for all of them, as I said earlier, was to make uh, Wakefield better not only the businesses but the community in whole um, and I think you know working with groups like this and, and and building relationships and as you know some of the others have mentioned really giving back to these businesses that have always given to us I mean the first thing anybody does when they want to run a fundraiser whether it's uh, the Rotary or Main Streets or, or Independence Day or even the schools you know, lacrosse teams hockey teams all that the first thing they do is, is go down to the businesses downtown and i think it was really time for us to try to do the same for them i think we're very lucky to have them um, and we are honored to be able to help them in and again to echo what tom was saying i would uh, jump at the chance to work with these four organizations again uh, hopefully for something uh, a lot more positive but now i know um, as i said uh, before I, now I know Wakefield Main Streets has three other solid partners in town that will help us build the small business, business community back up. Thank you.